Hello guys. So, outfit check again. <laughs> of course, they're really coming out with gorgeous designs for the micro now. But we even have more new designs. Look at this. I don't own a single Valentino bag yet. But if they keep designing stuff like this, <laughs> It's only a matter of time. This is the new Mono Glam collection. Can we believe this? They only have 65 of these bags worldwide. I'm not normally excited for Chanel anymore, but... Yeah, I can't believe, guys, that I'm actually wearing denim. <laughs> I've always said it, I don't like denim at all, um, but I saw this jumpsuit and I was like, oh, I'm in love. Okay, let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So let me cross the street. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think this video today, I'm going to split into two parts. Part one, we're gonna go to Selfridges right now, just to see what's new. And then in part two, the next video that's coming up, um, we're gonna go to the pre-lab shops, because I know how much you love this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's still a little bit cold. I thought it was warmer today. I forgot to show you the outfit at home with the shoes, the Ack boots, platform Ack boots, and my Bottega. Can I wear denim? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, a bit cloudy today, but the sun is sometimes coming out. Let's go to Selfridges. I know the reflection is really bad. Can we see that? The stock market. Um, they're actually doing repairs for clothing and bags in terms of like designer stuff here in Selfridges now. I think it somehow belongs to the re-Selfridges part of Selfridge, uh, where they fix up um, vintage bags, pre-loved bags. So this Gucci bag is just 600 pounds, which is quite cool, you know. I mean, vintage, the vintage look is very much in. There we have a boy bag for 4K. Ooh, already a Celine as well. That's a new model, isn't it? There we have a YSL. A Lady Dior for 3,000 pound. Okay, I think you can find a better deal on a bag like that. There's a little Chanel bag, a Fendi Peekaboo. Yeah, I mean, at least we get a look at some uh, beautiful free love bags, right? Oh, that Gucci is actually nicer, I think. Oh, they even have a Chanel backpack. Oh, wow. Okay, look at that. A beautiful vintage Chanel backpack with the real gold-plated hardware. Gorgeous. I think the price is reasonable. It's comparable to what you find on the pre loved market. Chanel toad, that's a little bit overpriced. Um, yeah, more Chanel. A little bit overpriced as well, in my opinion. Classic flap, medium large. Okay, you can just bring in anything that needs to be fixed and they will do it. No, I said it in my last vlog, but I absolutely love these Dior cushions. They really make me feel inspired in terms of, you know, decoration uh, stuff that I want to do for our new house. So these bags, they really remind me of the Joker because they have like the purple and the green colors. Wow, guys, look at these. Even the purple sparkly bag, that is absolutely gorgeous. There we have the book tour as well. Okay, the colors are one of a kind. More Lady Dior's. Look at that one. That is, oh, okay, I'm in love. You can't really see it. Maybe we need a close-up of that one, the little micro Lady Dior with the flowers. Oh, but just look at this. It's gorgeous with a little embroidery there. Oh, look at these details. Absolutely stunning. I always wanted a micro one as well. This might be it, huh? Okay guys, here we are with the teeny tiny little micro Lady Dior. Oh, it's just, it's black and gold with some flowers on it and some beautiful embroidery bits. Oh, I don't know the price yet, she's just looking it up. But, oh, do we think this is absolutely gorgeous, I love it. I mean, it's ridiculous if you think about the size of the bag, but, you know, you can put a phone in the bag, like, upwards. I think that's possible. Um, wow. I love it. Oh, and then we have another little one. Okay, do we know the price for this? 3050 Okay, that's... And this one, because it has all the embroidery as well. Oh, I love them. Oh, three as well. So both bags are around 3,000, which is pretty good, right? Considering that the last one we tried on with all the crystals was around 5,000. I mean, imagine how much work goes into this. And purple is really my color, isn't it? Okay, 
I need some advice because they're really coming out with gorgeous designs for the micro now. Oh. Do we have any preference, guys? This one is new as well. I think we have a jungly theme going on at the moment with all the book tours. We've seen the tiger, peacock one here. We have a little parrot. Oh, some new Valentino bags and can we just have a look at how sparkly they are? Absolutely gorgeous and of course the purple one as well. But we even have more new designs. Look at this. Kind of reminds me of the Chanel plastic PVC bags from the 90s, right? And I mean, they are so, so expensive nowadays. Um, the question is, you know, is the plastic, the PVC gonna yellow in time? I think that would ruin the look of the bag a little bit, but if it would remain like this, I think it's stunning. And a look at this, even more Valentino, and I have to say I really, really love it. Um, they make a toad with all these stones on as well, and oh, it's so gorgeous. I think it's quite heavy though. Uh, imagine this in like a big size toad, but ah. Uh, Gorgeous. I mean, I don't own a single Valentino bag yet, but if they keep designing stuff like this, <laughs> it's only a matter of time, I think. Here we have the famous Valentino pink. I uh, still love it. More and more fashion houses are copying it now. Dior is bringing out a lot of bags in this kind of color. Shoes as well. Yeah, I guess it's popular. I'm mesmerized by Valentino bags today. This is a classic. Look at this beautiful one. Ooh, perfect for like the beach and evenings at the beach. <laughs> um, raffia is of course a very nice material for spring and summer, but then like the stones, the sparkly straw stones really give it like that extra vibe, right? Here you have a full raffia bag, another crystal bag. Oh. We know I'm a sucker for anything crystals and this is a nice raffia toad as well. Speaking of raffia. <laughs> yep, Prada is going full on raffia. Uh, look at these. So Kusama, the Kusama collection is still on for Louis Vuitton. Here we have a little Alma bag. Again, like, mm, I would probably not spend money on it, but it's something different. Hello guys. So, outfit check again. <laughs> I think I'll have to pick up like a jacket for later on because it's too cold. Um, yeah, let's see what we find. Ooh, nice little twist top handle bag. See, the hot pink is everywhere. I said last time this is the only bag I think I really like with the dots. With a little pumpkin here. There we have a pochette motif in the same style. Uh, a Louis Vuitton never full. And I don't know what the name of this one is, but yeah. Okay guys, I feel like I have to try this one on because it's the same beautiful like hot pink color as well, right? And that's the tiniest twist top handle. Um, it comes out in a medium and a larger size as well, I think. But look, cute or oh, what? And it has a strap as well. And actually you can wear it, it's adjustable. You can wear it on a shorter length, um, on a longer length, cross body anything you like. This is the shorter length. Um, I think that's quite nice, right? You can almost wear it like a flat bag. It's quite cool. Mm. Oh guys, look at this. This is the new Mono Glam collection. Do we like it? There we have the Neverfull as well. Like it's really difficult to see the effect um, on, on screen, but it's like almost iridescent denim. I think that's the best way to describe it. More raffia at Fendi. We got this light beigey one and this ICU Fendi peekaboo. Oh, and actually there's a teeny tiny little mini size as well. This is a nice suede, isn't it? Ooh, okay, look at these shoes. That's quite cool. They shimmer so nicely and they actually have a Fendi peekaboo in this shimmery look as well. That's pretty cool. We have to try that one and I think that's the highlight, right? The limited edition piece. Yeah, is that okay. from the Marc Jacobs? It's part of the Marc Jacobs, the Fendi by Marc Jacobs collection. Yeah. It's gorgeous with a yes. little bow. It's 65 pieces produced for the bow. Oh, wow, and 65. all the stores we see this bag. Okay. And it's pretty much one per store in that sense. Okay. It comes with a crossbody strap. Uh-huh. Okay. 
guys look at this. This is adjustable. Yeah. The bow is detachable. Okay, that's so good. So if you want, you can remove oh. it. If you just want to keep it more simple. That's if not, nice. For a special occasion, mm -hmm. for a night out. Cute. Gives it a different look. Exactly. <laughs> so guys, can we believe this? They only have 65 of these bags worldwide. That kind of blows your mind, right? Um, that is really a very limited amount. Um, so you can detach the bow, which is quite cool. I think this is very playful with the bow, but then if you take it off, it's like, you know, really fancy like disco going out back. Um, hmm. Let me know if any of you decided to get this. One of the 65 only. You guys, I love just walking around, not knowing what we discover um, on a specific day. And then we see such rare beauties. Isn't it cool? Okay, I would say let's look at Gucci next, Chanel, Bulgari. Ooh, they even have a rose gold Chanel 22. I have to show you that one. Okay, I mean, you guys know me. I'm not normally excited for Chanel anymore, but beautiful rose gold metallic Chanel 22 in the size small. And we got the mini size as well in the rose gold. Uh, let me try and focus, there we go. Stunning. The only issue is I've got my metallic purple and we know they don't wear well, unfortunately, but uh, they are beautiful no matter what. And there we have the crystal sling bag sandals as well. Oh, guys, look at this. This is roughy as well, actually. It's just um, you don't really see it at first sight. You have to go like really close. Cool. Chanel has like some mannequins on display here this is one of the new bags as well it's pretty cool pretty cool there we got a mini square in kind of the same raffia material as well interesting interesting the wallet and chain yeah and a little bit more of chanel eye candy here we can see some fashion jewelry pieces look at the back of the dress with these embroidered little you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, and then we have, what do we have here? A wok with a little heart on it. That's from the new collection. And guys, look, more glittery shoes. I think glitter, glitter and glamour is all in the season. And some woks, some brooches. And what do you put in these? <laughs> it's probably just like a card holder, to be honest. But quite chunky for a card holder. And there. This is what's on display. Let me zoom in a little bit. Nothing too special. I think I like the Rose Gold Chanel 22 the most today. So I think this is the new resale for just um, area, which is quite cool. Uh, I think they got a lot of stuff. Let's have a look if they've got any more bags down here. Hey guys, I think that was quite interesting. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it, if anything caught your eye. If I really would like to know if you decided to get anything from the Fendi Marc Jacobs collection. Um, and yeah, I think that was helpful for us. Now we're gonna go to the pre lab shops, which is gonna be the next video. Okay, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease <laughs> yes we do and yeah guys i see you again very very soon bye